Hi, it's Dr. Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon. And today we're going to talk briefly about the many myths surrounding testosterone replacement therapy. First off, many people worry that testosterone therapy can lead to heart attacks. Well, the truth is just the opposite. Research shows that testosterone actually improves heart contraction and opens up coronary artery disease. In fact, lower testosterone levels in later life are linked to a higher risk of cardiovascular mortality. So when administered correctly in the right clinical setting, testosterone therapy is considered safe. Another myth we often encounter is the belief that testosterone therapy causes prostate cancer. I hear this all the time. Fortunately, recent studies led by Dr. Abraham Morgan Taylor of Harvard have debunked this misconception time and time again. It turns out that testosterone therapy is not the culprit. The evidence simply doesn't support the previous concerns. Else, every 18-year-old male with raging hormone levels, and in particular testosterone, would have prostate cancer. Think about it. Next, testosterone therapy will give you unwanted breast tissue. Not if monitored aggressively. In our clinic, we monitor testosterone and estrogen levels every three to six months. By using estrogen blockers and adjusting testosterone dosage when appropriate and keeping levels within normal ranges, this complication can be avoided. It's never happened to any of my clinic patients. And this is one of the reasons that you must choose your doctor carefully. So let's not forget about steroid psychosis. Again, I've never seen it. This is not the result of properly dosed bioidentical testosterone therapy, though. In fact, testosterone is a calming agent. It provides a degree of focus. Patients often describe it as a joyful feeling, the kind you get while watching a Sunday football game with your friends. Quite the opposite of steroid psychosis, which is associated with synthetic steroid usage, the kind you get in the gym locker room, not bioidentical testosterone. So I'm just going to leave you with this. Testosterone is a hormone. It's native to the body. And chemists have synthesized it for replacement therapy in those that are showing signs of deficiency. Unfortunately, testosterone has been abused by the bodybuilding community, and this stigma has carried over into medicine. But don't vilify the hormone because used properly, the benefits far outweigh the risks. Just ask any of my patients, many of whom feel 21 again.